two stories while I'm still living, while the fire is still inside me. Okay, here's the first story. When I first moved out of the house and I was on my own and I went into my first apartment, I moved to Fresno, California. I rented an apartment, okay? I'm a young dude, I don't know too much, it's my first apartment. When I moved out of that apartment, I moved to um, a house, I, I decided to rent a room from someone's house, it was a fancy house. It was a really fancy house, nice house, had a swimming pool, big backyard. But anyways, that's beside the fact. So I leave the apartment. I forget to change, to cancel the gas. The gas and electric bill is still in my name. I forget to cancel it. I just move out. I forget to call the gas company. So the person who moves into the, new, into the apartment, um, which is new to him, so he moves into the apartment. He doesn't tell the gas company that, that he's, He's living there now. He doesn't tell the gas company, the electric company, that it's under a new tenant. And he's getting the bill. And he sees that it's coming in my name. So for seven months, this continues before the gas electric company shut him down. And I receive a bill for this because I didn't change the name out. Okay, so now I buy a house in Fresno, California. I, I try to turn on the, uh, the, the gas and electric. They won't let me turn it on because I have that outstanding bill. See, that's a shitty individual person. He knew that I, he knew that I was paying for it. He didn't know me personally, but he knew the name. He knew the name, he knew it wasn't going to him. Okay, fast forward to today. So 2019, I sell my XC90, I sell it to a company. This is not a big problem, but I have to deal with some paperwork. The guy, buy, uh, the guy buys my XC90. I sell it to a company, uh, cash for used cars or something like that. They sell it to somebody else. Now the registration is still in my name because the, the paperwork is slow to move. When you deal with the DMV, it takes a while for the paperwork to go through. This guy's running amok. He's parking in places he shouldn't park. He's on the toll roads. I'm receiving all kinds of traffic violations, blocking driveways because of this guy, because he knows the registration is not in his name, so he's running amok. See, that's another shitty individual. All I'm saying is, not everyone is as nice as you. And you need to face facts that there are some shitty individuals in this world.